Oh, and two. Two strikes. And he hit him. Oh, and that hit him right on the elbow. That one got him. Jeez, that's a, a terrible sight when you don't have a padded up lead elbow. Josh Fallon walking out with him. Been hit 21 times this year. And you would think the overwhelming majority of the times he was hit was right on that forearm and lead elbow. While the camera is focused on the player, the umpires are convening. Let's see why. Now, Tony La Russa came out of the dugout. The umpires, somebody just got thrown out. Well, I don't think it was Lang, because he's still on the mound. No, there's, that was not intentional. Somebody from the dugout got tossed. Somebody who's already in the runway. Unless that's Miguel Cairo. Yeah, looks like Miguel Cairo. Now here comes Tony La Russa, and he may have his say again. Now Tony has said he is not happy with the number of hit by pitches that have come to the White Sox this year and he feels like there's an inequality in how many times the Sox have been hit to how many times the Sox have hit anybody. Well it's especially to Jose Abreu. I mean that's a guy that he's very concerned about as you would expect. And now the umpires in, in this situation, we've talked about it before, they it's meet. a new mechanic, they've got to meet. Yeah. Let's be realistic, top of the ninth, one run game, Abreu is 0 for 3, it's an 0 2 count, the catcher's set up inside, fastball hits elbow. This is a completely illogical situation for a hit by pitch, and for what reason would it be intentional? If you have insight as to why you think it was intentional and the crew missed it, let us know in the comments, because I don't know. Grandal takes a ball in the dirt and Jose peels away. Throw down to second, meets him there, and he is out. Well, he went in real hard to Goodrum. And Goodrum is jawing at him, and Jose's going right back at him. Jose is really not happy with being hit by that pitch. And now the benches are going to clear at Comerica Park. Garrett Crochet is right in the middle of that thing. The Sox and Tigers in their final game of the season in the ninth inning. Everybody's spilling out from the bullpen and meeting at second base. I'm not sure why Lang was in the middle of that, but Jose is justifiably unhappy. That's the most unhappy I've seen him. Lang decided to get in the middle of it. Now Gavin Sheets goes in to pull out Jose Abreu. Eloy talking to his mentor and the roles reverse here as Jose, this is a season of being hit by pitches. Yeah, this, is, this is 21 previous times getting hit. And then A.J. Hinch and Tony La Russa drawing at one another. Sox Sep have been yep. hit Go ahead. 76 times compared to 50 the Sox have hit the opponents. And, and that's that Lifetime Achievement Award is what Tony La Russa has been mad about for weeks yeah. now. It's a, yeah, obviously, that's a huge difference. And Jose really goes in hard. That's Tim Timmons who was trying to get right into Jose's chest to keep him away from what might have happened. I credit Tim Timmons there. That was 
a job well done making sure that Jose doesn't get in because the last thing the Sox need is for Jose to get suspended. Yep. Nothing he did at second base was going to get him suspended, but it was after the fact. And I think Tim Timmons did a really good job before any of his teammates could get there. But Jose did not go after the lead leg. He went right into the bag. Yeah, that's a legal slide. And that's a legal slide. It just was a hard slide. Some of you are going to ask about Bonafide Slide Rule. No, this is not a Bonafide Slide because Abreu failed to remain on the base. But even so, this is not a situation where that rule even matters because it's not a double play attempt. And Tim is right there so that Daryl Boston can come out and help things a bit. That, that's very good umpiring by yeah, Tim Timmons. I, I think he did a terrific job, and it probably it had a good chance of saving Jose a suspension because he was about as hot as we have seen him since he put on a White Sox uniform. I was going to say, in his career, totally yep. agree with you. And, and credit to Gavin Sheets, too, yep. a rookie who's been around a lot of baseball, got out there and had the guts to take Jose and say, we're getting out of this thing. Yep. So, um, yeah, there was a lot of help, a lot of his teammates, and... That is literally the maddest we've seen Jose ever. And, and I, would, I, I think you agree with this. It is about the pileup of everything that's happened. Oh, this yeah. is not about today. This is about a season of getting hit by pitches, yeah. sprinting to first base, shaking it off, and finally saying, I've had enough. Watch Gavin come in here and make sure. Yeah, he, Gavin is helping Tim Timmons, and then he's the guy that literally is holding back Jose. I think that says a lot about Gavin Sheets. Very much so. And about his strength, too, by the way, because yeah, Jose, Jose a, we're going to run through some people. He's a big guy. Yemen's a big, strong guy, and I think, I think that was really, but between Timmons and Gavin Sheets, that helped keep Jose around and unsuspended for the playoffs, certainly. That is a legal slide, though. There's nothing wrong with no, that he slide. slid. No, he slid to the bag. Okay, here's my outside observer look. Abreu instigates this fight because of mistaken belief he was intentionally hit by a pitch. The pitcher walks over and effectively incites Abreu to further reaction. I would ordinarily expect at least two ejections, Abreu and the pitcher Lanch, but as much as MLB will deny it, the league actually loves fights because it gives them ratings and revenue. So maybe there's some sort of weird directive not to enforce the rules of the game. All I know is in college or below, which is to say most places where baseball is played and where this is consumed, there would be ejections and major suspensions. Motion going into the playoffs. They showed some there. I said it during the pregame show, and I think you feel the same way. There has been no problem with the spirit of this team since a couple years ago. This, this is a very together outfit. But I'll tell you something that is probably going to be the case here is after it, this double. Yeah, dart to right field yeah. into the corner. Yaz will take a trip to second base with a two-out double. 